All right, so we're gonna create custom bullets in Microsoft Word. And I'm using Microsoft Word 360. Most recent versions work the same. So we'll look at doing existing symbols in Word and then using your own image or an image off the web. Let's do an image, our own image first. I'm gonna draw a picture of a cat. Yeah, cat. So here's our cat looking to the right at our text, and then we'll save this image to our desktop. So now I highlight these here and I go up, make sure I'm in the home tab. So I have this drop down with the bullets here, click the drop down, and I want to define a new bullet. Define that new bullet picture and it gives me this error in Word 360. I just click work offline and then I choose a picture. And here's the file I just saved. I click on that and you can see there's our cat. I click OK and there the cat is. If you don't like the size of the cat, I'd like it bigger. You can actually increase the font. Let's take it up to, that's a little big. How about 12? There we go. So we've created our own custom bullet. The way we did it, we created a picture. We saved it. Home. Click the down arrow here. And then we defined a new bullet, found the picture from our desktop, and we inserted that, and that gave us the bullet. You can remove these custom pictures here by going back up and just right-clicking, remove. It'll stay in your document, but it won't show up in the list here. Next time you restart, these will be gone. Okay, but how about an existing symbol in Word? So you highlight, same deal. You go up here to the bullets, define a new bullet, and here you just choose a symbol. Sometimes you'll find it here already. I find if you go to Wingdings down here, one, two, or three, you'll have access to all kinds of different symbols that you can use. Like a clock, for instance. You insert it, okay, and there it is. So that's the way you can use symbols that are right in Microsoft Word. You go back up here, you go to define new bullet, symbol, pick a symbol from those wingdings, one, two, or three, and just insert that, and you got it. So that's the way you can insert custom bullets in Microsoft Word. That's the way I do it. There probably are other ways. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.